Oh, hey, Elon. How's it going, man? Yeah, not too bad. You want to play some Overwatch? All right, man. Uh, wh what's your account at now? Oh, I don't think I can group with you, actually. You, you what? You're 4.7k? Yeah, I can't group with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm a scrub. I can't group with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, man. Speak to you later. There's nobody on the phone, really. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylos, and yes, Elon Musk does in fact play Overwatch. Now, there was a tweet which went out, and this was uh, Tim the Tatman, good old Tim. Uh, he said, uh, Elon Musk, hey, just out of curiosity, do you play Overwatch? And he responded with, yeah, I find it soothing, which is pretty funny. But then I guess a man like Elon probably has a pretty uh, hectic life, so... Playing probably like Overwatch competitive is, is probably a hellhole. In fact, I know he doesn't really play competitive. I think he just plays uh, the odd arcade game. And I know he plays with his kids as well. This is really actually, this is a random story. I don't know if you guys know about this, but Elon Musk has been to BlizzCon before. And his kids are always at BlizzCon. There was a very funny moment where I was in the uh, the fancy VIP area for the uh, the World Cup. And I'm standing there and I'm, and I'm like from the skybox. I'm watching. I'm like, oh yeah, this is an awesome game. It was the USA uh, South Korea game, I think it was, we were watching. Watching. And there's these kids running around. I'm like, who are these kids? Like, what are these kids doing in here? Because it's like a, uh, like an adult area. And then somebody's just like, oh yeah, it's Elon Musk kids. And I'm like, I'm like, what? I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm this dude who just like makes videos on Overwatch, and these are Elon Musk kids. <laughs> anyway, could we be seeing an Elon Musk stream with Tim the Tapman? Now, the precedent has been set with Ninja and Drake because you know, as you guys probably know, they play Fortnite. Well, Drake turned upon Ninja's stream. Now, Ninja has got an insanely popular stream. Anyway, um, I mean, I think it regularly gets like 100,000 views or whatever. Drake turns up, suddenly 650,000. Suddenly, Twitch is launched into popular culture, which is ridiculous. So, Elon, if he does actually play on Twitch with like Tim or somebody, that would be ridiculous. And in fact, have this as, a, as an offer. Why don't you send me in a, a video clip for Overanalyzed? Or hell, we can stream together. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Re reach out to me, Elon. Let's make it happen. Let's make dreams come true. <laughs> Brigitte? 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 The new hero for Overwatch, which, I, you know what? I literally have to go back and, and watch a video to, to understand how to pronounce this hero's name. It screws with my brain. Like, I just can't say it. So let's just say Torb's daughter for the rest of this video. Right? Um, she is coming uh, out on the, uh, now this date's American, so it's screwing with me again. The, the 3rd of the 20th is not a date, because there isn't a 20th month blizzard, I'll have you know. She's coming out on the 20th of March. Uh, this is huge, because this means you guys on console are going to be able to play Brigitta. I think it's Brigitta. Brigitta Lindholm. Brigitta. Because if I do it with an accent, I generally get it right. Brigitta Lindholm. Brigitta. Yeah, it must be Brigitta. I'm going to go with that. She's out anyway, so everybody's going to be able to play her. Now, the question is, what's going to happen? Are we going to go into a Brigitta meta or anything like that? I don't know. Like, I think it's going to be a slow adoption of this hero. Um, I think she's playable straight away, which is good. She's kind of like Moira in that way, where they can just come straight into the game. Uh, and that should be awesome. How the game's going to play out with her, we don't know. I mean, she is, I don't know, like, I've got some reservations with her, and I made an entire video on that, so I'm not going to go over it again in this video. But I think she is anti-dive, very good anti-dive, and she can solo a lot of the tanks. Like, she can beat Winston 1v1. Uh, she can really mess Diva up, although Diva, it, it's kind of close, that matchup is. Reinhardt, she can beat him 1v1. She can do a lot of damage in 1v1, uh, but that's never really going to happen, is it, against other tanks? Like, in a big brawl that breaks out, maybe she's going to be effective. Well, she will be effective. Um, my problem with her is, I think she's just a little bit easy to counter and I see in my head like King's Row or Numbani first point if you're rolling a Brigitte and you're getting ready for the dive and the enemy team come out with dive they dive onto you and then you destroy them then they'll just change their heroes and go for a slow push and that could make a bit of a problem I don't know we'll have to see how she plays out but she is a really fun hero and she looks really nice as well so she is coming out on the 20th of March of course 2018 which is next week Michael Chu lead writer of Overwatch um uh, he says we're going to add some Portuguese lines for Lucio. Great. That's that's all I've got to report there. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk a little bit about Overwatch League because this week has been mega interesting. So I've got my phone out because, weirdly, it's hard to find this information actually on the website. Um, anyway, we've got the divisions for... Oh, God, I've got 5% battery. This isn't good. Uh, the, the division, or the, the stage playoffs, right, or the stage standings at the moment for stage two are really interesting because what we've got is you've got New York XL at the top, and rightfully so because they've won seven games and lost one. They've been playing ridiculous. Of course, they lost against Spitfire. Well played, my boys. Uh, Seoul, they are 6-1, and one, so they're second. So those two teams are in the playoffs. And then 
Then you've got LA Gladiators. Now, if you remember, LA Gladiators smashed London the other week. They also just smashed Houston, which is a huge result for them. They've got to play Florida. Um, I think they're playing Florida at like 11 p.m. This is British times um, today. So that's going to be a huge game for them. Like if they lose that game, then they've got London, who are one loss behind them. And London have got to play, well, San Francisco Shock, which you would expect that's a win for London. But then London have got to play... Seoul Dynasty. Now, historically, London have been very strong against the other Korean teams. So you would hope, well, I would hope, London will beat uh, Seoul Dynasty. If they do that, then what that's going to do is, like, basically London have to win all of their games. But if LA Gladiators win all of their games, then they're in the playoffs. So it's basically LA Gladiators playoff position to lose like if they lose against florida which could totally happen because remember florida won yesterday they beat la valiant 3-1 which was a huge result for florida but like if gladiators i mean when we look at gladiators fixtures i mean they've got to play florida yeah that's that's cool and then into week five they've got uh philly now fusion are they are a bit of a dark horse like that could be a hard game for gladiators and i think it will be um and then gladiators have got to play boston and Boston have been terrible recently, so you'd expect Gladiators to win that. London's final game's against Shanghai Dragons, so you'd expect that as a win for London. Um, and then they've got to play before that, Dallas, which again, you'd probably expect that as a win. So basically, if Seoul beat London tonight, London are pretty much screwed because I can't see Gladiators losing all their games, basically, or losing two games, and then London winning the rest and somehow getting into the playoff spot. I can't see that happening. So this is very interesting. Also, it's massively gutting because, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to LA on the 21st of this month to watch the finals. So if London are not in the playoff finals, I'll not be very happy, ladies and gentlemen. There's also some very special stuff going on as well in April. I can't talk about that. It's going to be juicy. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Silos from This Is Unit Lost. We've covered a few things in this video, and I've kind of, um, I don't know. In fact, let's just have a little chat, actually, at the end of this video. Um, I don't think, like, uh, I don't really know how to word this. It's going to sound a little bit weird, but I recently have not been feeling very great with my, like, uh, I've got a thing called Crohn's, and, and I've not been feeling too great with it, and it's been cause, kind of causing me some, um, it, it doesn't cause me problems. Like, I, I'm... I'm way exaggerating this, but it makes me feel tired. And basically, I'm having to go to sleep quite a lot to, to recover. Hopefully now, like, you can look at me. I don't look too bad now at the moment. Uh, I recently took my bike back out. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll notice that I'm like, hey, I'm getting off my fat ass and I'm taking my bike out again. That has, like, helped me, like, get a bit more energy back. But the last couple of weeks have been a bit of a struggle. Like, I've been sort of able to make a video or so, and then I'm just sort of collapsing back to sleep, and it's not been great. Anyway... The good news is I am not getting bad. Like with Crohn's, uh, you, a lot of you guys probably don't. Well, uh, let me just give you a brief explanation of what it is. So it's an autoimmune condition, which what it does is it causes your immune system to basically attack the lining of your uh, digestive system. So like for me, it basically means that um, I guess to put it into simple terms, if, if you eat a burger and I eat a burger, the same burger, I get half the energy of the burger, you get the whole burger, because my gut doesn't, like, only half of it works in a way, right? So I'd have to eat another burger, which is good in a way, because I get two burgers, right? But it means that I kind of have to be careful with my energy levels. That's why fitness has always been something that I I've always tried to um, stay on top of, because if I keep myself fit, then it, me it means my energy levels are just higher, so it sort of compensates and brings me to a more, like, normal level. Anyway, enough of this moaning whatever. I just wanted to throw that out there because... I know a lot of you guys were asking me, Sty, where's your camera gone? Because I haven't been using it uh, that often. Well, it's because of that, because I'd look like this. Uh, half dead on the camera, and that's not good. Anyway, enough of my sob story. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Sty Lose, and this is Unit Lost. Hope you enjoyed this news update video for Overwatch, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Remember, watch the London versus Seoul game tonight. That's huge. The first game's huge. For, uh, blah, 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 blah. Mayhem against... Um, Gladiators, because if Mayhem win, then that means London have basically got a route open to the finals there. If they don't win, uh, or if Gladiators win and London lose, then London are pretty screwed, and then they're just going to find it borderline impossible to get into the playoffs. Anyway, catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo.